Hello and welcome back to another video. We've got Southampton at home tonight, back at Ashton Gate. It's pretty much sold out again, which is nice. We had a fair few of those sort of games recently under the lights, big crowds, hopefully a good atmosphere. Southampton now are 25 games unbeaten, I think, in all competitions. Uh, I don't think they've lost since I think it was mid-September. Russell Martin doing a spectacular job there. Um, obviously, kind of expected them to be up there this season, obviously, having just been relegated from the Premier League, but that 25 game unbeaten run is ridiculous. But it comes to an end tonight. Harry Cornick, last minute winner. I'm feeling it. I don't know why. I'm weirdly confident that we're going to get something. I'll be more than happy with a draw. Um, but if, I've just got this weird feeling we're going to nick it tonight, and we're going to we're going to kind of kickstart the second half of our uh, second half of our season. Hopefully, obviously, we've got a big result at Middlesbrough on Saturday. If you haven't seen my vlog uh, from Molyneux, I went to go and watch Wolves versus Brentford on Saturday instead of taking the trip to Middlesbrough. Uh, so do go and check that out. I'll leave it linked up there. But yeah, let's get down to Ashton Gate. I'm going to eat my food and hopefully cause an upset. Who knows? Let's get down to the ground. I've probably been on top for bits of it. Southampton with a few decent chances, us with a few pretty end to end, similar to the first half of the away game to be fair back in November. But uh, hopefully we can come out and nick a goal. And then we've, we've been alright defensively. Dickie's had a really good game. Tanner's been done a few times by Odozi, but equally got a few good tackles in. So hopefully more of the same in the second half.
Southampton penalty, 3 0 up in the 93rd minute. It, this could be where it all starts to go wrong. Genuinely, I have not seen us play that well in God knows how long. Controlled at the back, brilliant going forwards, especially second half, clinical with anything. Three big chances, three big goals. Uh, Sam Bell, Rob Dickey and Harry Cornick on the score sheet. Really nice to see all three of them get a goal. Obviously Dickey's had a few this season, Cornick's had one or two here and there, um, but has been playing brilliantly recently. And Bell, it's nice to see him get the goal, obviously after the miss uh, at Forest, and then, well, the penalty miss, sorry, at Forest. Uh, in the shootout and then the miss at Middlesbrough last week where he probably could have gone around the keeper or whatever but that's all in the past he scored tonight we still got the win in Barrow we still got the win tonight and well I mean 25 games and they stuffed it up didn't they <laughs> come to Ashton Gate sold out under the lights we always knew it was going to be tough for him I'll be honest I didn't really think we were going to get it done but we did 3-1 and uh, the penalty at the end is, is what it is isn't it? it would have been nice to get the clean sheet but they scored nonetheless and I'm Armstrong with the goal um but yeah, um, I don't even know what to say. I'm lost for words. I might put like a little match review out tomorrow when I've had a bit more time to kind of go over it and look at the highlights and stuff. But that was brilliant. And two massive, massive wins. QPR on Saturday is winnable as well. Sheffield Wednesday next week's winnable. We could we could be in for a very, very interesting last two and a bit months here of the season. Um, Sykes back on the bench tonight didn't come on. Um, Abude did make his debut and looked good in the 10 minutes or so he got. But yeah, I'll see you on Saturday for QPR at home. Make sure you like, share and subscribe, especially if you're a Southampton fan. I know you had a lovely night tonight. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Cheers.